In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at my color grading process for the original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. But first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Anson and on this channel we talk about filmmaking, specifically budget gear, tutorials, and a behind the scenes look at the projects that I'm working on. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. Ever since I talked about why I bought the OG Pocket Camera in 2021, people have been asking my color grading process with the OG Pocket Camera. So today we're gonna to take a look at that. Now, as we start talking about this, I do wanna preface, I'm not a colorist. This is my quick and easy method. Uh, and so please don't tear me apart too much in the comments, but this is how I personally go through and grade in DaVinci Resolve. And I don't want this to be a super long video, so we're gonna dive right into DaVinci Resolve and start color grading. So let's do this. The first thing that I'll do is I'll go into the raw tab and make any adjustments I need to do in that raw tab. I did underexpose this shot slightly, so I'll change the ISO from 200 to 400, but I do keep the footage in the Gen 1 color space. I rarely put it in Gen 4, if ever. I find it makes the colors look a little bit weird, so I keep it in the Gen 1 color space. And from there, I'll pull up my parade scope, and with my curves, I'll actually make my adjustments on the shadows and the highlights. The shadows, I'll probably bring down to the zero line. The highlights, I'll kind of play around with. And then the mid-tones, I'll play around with just slightly, maybe make them a little bit more curved or less curved, just depending on the contrast that I'm looking for. Now once I have the exposure where I want, I'll go into the RGB mixer and boost the saturation all the way up. Now with the OG Pocket Camera, I found that it's best to boost the saturation. That's what I found to make work on my footage, but obviously this is to taste. Now from there, I'll go into my color wheels and go to my primary bars and take out any colors I think may need to be taken out. A lot of times with the Blackmagic color space, I take the reds out of the gamma just ever so slightly. Uh, I found that gets the best results. All right, so from there, let's add another corrector node, and this is where we're going to work with the skin tones. So the first thing I'll do is I'll qualify the skin tones and try to isolate them as much as possible. So I'll use the selector, select the skin tones, and use the feathering option to try to feather it out to get the most isolation, but also isolate the skin tones as much as I can. And then from there, I'll use a circular power window to isolate my skin tones even more. And then I'll pull up my vector scope. A vector scope is going to be the most useful tool that you can use when you're trying to color grade and color grade for skin tones. I strongly encourage when you're using your vector scope to introduce the skin tone line. And the whole point about that is you want the colors for your skin tones to be on that skin tone line or be just touching the skin tone line. I prefer to have it just touching to the right of the skin tone line or the top of the skin tone line. Uh, that's what I found works best for my footage. But the skin tone line is going to be one of the most helpful tools when you're pulling up vector scopes. Now from there, I'll introduce a couple more corrector nodes and also a layer mixer. The top node is going to be my color grade and the bottom node is going to carry over my skin tones. Uh, and so with the top node, I'll kind of play around with a light grade. I tend to go very light on the grade, but it's usually more like a teal and orange type approach. I may play around with it if I'm trying to be creative, but I generally go with a teal and orange just because I find it to be more natural and pleasing. Uh, but obviously this is where you take your creative freedoms. But once I have everything graded, I'll right click on the image and grab a still. And from there, I'll go to the other shots that are in the video and basically apply the grade that I did on that first shot to the other clips. And from there, I can just make some minor adjustments. So that's how I grade my footage for the OG Pocket Camera in DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below if there's something I didn't cover. So that's it for me. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like. If you're digging the overall content from the channel, consider subscribing. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Stay safe. Be happy. Support each other. Wash those hands and I'll see you here next time. Peace.